After months of trying to create an effective COVID-19 vaccine, experts say several have shown promising results. The vaccines that we have seen so far are 90 to 95 percent effective. That is a, a great number, honestly. Um, it's, uh, it's much higher than we have for flu vaccine presently. Distribution is set to begin soon. Given the high case counts, that's good news, since the vaccine will help our body create an immune response to the virus. And then later on, um, if your body is again exposed to the uh, novel coronavirus, the COVID-19 virus, your body will be in a better position to fight it off. Long term, though, there are questions because simply put, research hasn't gotten that far yet. For example, like with the flu shot, will we need to get vaccinated annually? It's possible. This virus mutates as well, so we have yet to learn you know, what some of the potential mutations in the future may do as far as um, the effectiveness of these initial vaccines. Can you still get sick if you've gotten the shot? Yes, especially since it takes a few weeks to build immunity. What about spreading it to others? That's unclear, though possible. So the vaccination can prevent catching the disease, and the vaccination, um, in all likelihood, should be able to decrease the likelihood that you have a a severe case, um, as well as that you might spread it further uh, or as much, perhaps, as if you had not been vaccinated. Experts admit there's still much to learn, but say it is safe. This virus kills people, and if we want to focus on the bigger picture here, um, the overwhelming benefit um, seems to outweigh the risk. And see getting vaccinated as an important step in the fight against COVID-19. Jay Cunningham, Eyewitness News. And like with the flu shot, there are mild to moderate side effects after getting the shot. Those include one or two days of tiredness, aching muscles and pain at the injection site. We've heard officials say that there are going to be different phases of who gets the vaccine and when. But the New York Times has created this really cool tool that will calculate the number of people who will need the vaccine in your state and parish and where you might fit in that line. We know that healthcare workers and those in nursing homes will get them first. What about the rest of us? Let's take a look at, say, a 40 year old person in Jefferson Parish who is not a health care worker, not an essential worker, not a first responder or a teacher and doesn't have any COVID related risks. This will give you all the information as to how many people are in line before you. If you scroll down, you'll see this long line and where you are expected to fit in the line. This person is at the end of the line, which is what we expected. Now, let's take a look at a 40 year old teacher in St. Tammany Parish. In this parish, it's a different story. This person is kind of in the middle of the pack after first responders and those with health risks. And if you see, this is where they fall in that line, kind of in the middle, as we said. Now let's take a look at somebody who is 75 years old and lives in New Orleans and does have a health risk. They will be near the beginning of the line. If we scroll down, you can see right there, that's you. And that's where you would stand. Again, it's a free tool from the New York Times that can look up where you might stand in that line on your computer or even on your phone.